Hey guys, Don Walker here. I want to share a video today with you for making herbal pills. Today we're going to make some um, herbal pills uh, focusing on a traditional Chinese herbal formula called Sejinzitong. So Sejinzitong is a very classic formula in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, you see it used in a lot of different formulas combined with a lot of different formulas. Today we're just going to explain how to make an herbal pill. So being that it's basic, it's easy to make for demonstration purposes. Um, but I will talk about the formula itself. So Sejinitong has four major uh, herbs that are put together. We have Dongshen. Today we're going to replace this. Um, usually with uh, Sejinitong, Rinshen is the chief herb, but you'll see Dongshen used a lot in this formula as a substitute because it costs a lot less. It's a lot more accessible. Rinshen is a lot hotter, so sometimes a formula like this may call for using Rinshin if someone may have like more weakness in the primal chi for the spleen. So today we're gonna to use Dongshin and then we have Baiju, which is a deputy. The deputy in a formula like this assists the chief ingredient to strengthen the spleen and also dry uh, dampness. Um, so that's what Baiju does. And then Fuling is an assistant. So Fuling does also help with uh, draining some dampness as well and also helps strengthen the spleen. And these two together with Gonsal. Gonsal is pretty much just like a licorice. You know, it's used as an envoy in this formula, but also helps to strengthen the um, abdominal area and then which we call the middle burner in traditional Chinese medicine. So Fuling is combined with Gonsal. Baiju helps uh, Dongshin, but put together makes Sejinzitong. So Sejinzitong is a formula used to strengthen the, the spleen and also tonify qi in traditional Chinese medicine. These two books that we have for our resources, we have Formulas and Strategies, I always call it Binsky, very common book you'll see for traditional Chinese medical students, even practitioners, and also we're using Chinese herbal patent formulas, a practical guide. Just got this in the mail today, so I'm pretty happy about this. We've used these books today. I have my, my uh, classmate, Laura, helping with the videoing, uh, videotaping of, of this video, so I'm thankful for that. So we've used these two books to help us learn about the formula, and now we're gonna prepare these, these pills. So what we've done was we've taken the actual individual ingredients, we've made them into a powder form, which is very tedious. We used a mortar and pestle, and then we took this food processor and we uh, grinded it. So this was actually the lifesaver here for this uh, making the powder. And then we used a strainer to separate and sift the actual powder form. We just kept doing it over and over until we got more and more of it. And then as far as the formula, I'll talk a little bit about the formula itself. So Sejinitong, uh, tonified chi strength and spleen. So a lot of times the patient may come to a, a clinical, clinical setting and they may, be, they may present with like a pale complexion. They may show like a weakness of the limbs. Uh, they may have like a weak or a soft voice, tongue may be pale, they may have like a weak or frail uh, pulse. Um, also they may have like reduced appetite. So those are kind of telltale signs that lead up to a pattern. Pattern is just classic spleen chi deficiency. So spleen chi deficiency usually is due to uh, having a poor diet. Sometimes people eat a lot of cold foods, it weakens the spleen, the spleen does not like cold foods, it likes to stay warm. So when that happens, uh, the spleen becomes weakened. A lot of times you'll see someone who has like excessive deliberation. They may think a lot, worry a lot. Um, in today's society, we are constantly on the go, we're constantly studying, we're constantly working, we're working many hours. So a lot of times the spleen takes a beating and it gets weakened, it gets compromised. So a lot of these kind of uh, symptoms and indications and patterns lead up to a pattern and diagnosis for a, a form like this that would be called for. So a lot of these formulas, depending on a person's constitution and strength, would be combined and added into other formulas, just depending on their, their personal strength and constitution. So that's what you can see and find. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say, and this close this now in the video like this, that a video like this is not used to, to treat. We're not going to say we're diagnosing any kind of illness um, or curing anything of any kind, any kind of ailment. We're not doing that in this video. This video is only used for educational purposes. In the event, if you were interested in making these type of uh, pills, herbal pills yourself, um, I would highly recommend that you consult maybe a practitioner, um, your local uh, TCM licensed practitioner for more guidance on how to do this. But we're not diagnosing anyone, we're just doing this for educational purposes, so I, I highly recommend that. So with that, I'm gonna take some of these ingredients and I'm gonna put it into this bowl and I'm gonna me measure this. So I'm gonna take some of this in equal proportions. You know, the formula calls for a six gram draft each and typically with like Rinchen or Dongshin, it's three, 
to um, you know three to three to nine grams I would say for for Dongsha, uh, six to nine grams for Baiju, probably like six to nine grams for uh, Fuling, and like three to six grams for uh, Envoy Gansa, which is pretty normal. But I'm just going to like put a little bit in here for just like demonstration purposes, because we're gonna actually make some of these and take them home for ourselves actually. Um, so that, and then I'm going to add some baiju in there. And then I'm gonna add some fuling. Now I'm measuring this on one batch, so um, I'm, I'm taking account of equal amounts. So we're at three, and then gone sell. Awesome, so that's perfect, a perfect equal measurement. I'm gonna take this, I'm going to mix it up a little bit, stir it up. So what I wanna show you in this section of the, vi the video is that we've taken this powder, herbal formula, which is Sajendatang, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, make herbal honey pills with it. So in traditional Chinese medicine, a long time ago, um, encapsulated pills weren't such a thing, so they took uh, powder, they took herbs and made it into powder form, and then used substances like honey to uh, make herbal honey balls or her herbal honey ball pills. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this honey. You can get either local honey in your area or you can get uh, Manuka honey if that's something um, you feel more comfortable with. Um, this is local honey, so I'm gonna pour some in here. And I only wanna warm this up for about 30 seconds max just to get it warm enough to where it's more of a liquid form. So, so far it isn't. I'll let that sit just for a moment. So the, her the whole purpose of this is that they made these pills in, um, in herbal formulas form and store them away so they can like take them for later. They take some maybe throughout the day and that's kind of how they started to uh, get the ideas of like herbal honey pills. So as you can see right now, it's pretty warm and I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna pour it into this bowl. And the whole idea of this is just to pour in enough to where it's supposed to be like one tablespoon of powder uh, to uh, three quarters of a, tea, a tablespoon of honey. And as I pour this in here, as you can see, it's starting to get soak into the powder. And I'm just gonna start mixing this together. It's not hot enough to, to burn my hand. It's still kind of warm, so it's okay. And then get enough to where I can form into a ball. And I'm gonna make smaller size pills. I'm not gonna make it too big. I'm just gonna make a smaller size. I mean, I've used, some of these pills have gotten really too big to a point where you have to like put them in hot water or um, break them up or something. But this one is, is pretty, really small size pill here. So after this, I'm gonna take some more of the powder and then I'm gonna just roll the powder, you know, onto the um, honey pill, just like that. And the whole, her, her whole purpose of this is to just kind of get some of that stickiness away. So you don't have to worry about sticking, you know, you have honey all over your fingers. Um, you can also use uh, chin pea, which is like a dried citrus peel and it's a little bit more uh, flavorful, but in this case, I tasted the powder, and it's really, it's still, you know, it's good to actually use this one, so that's what that looks like there, and as you can see, I made some of these earlier. So this is what it's like to make herbal honey pills, just like this. If you have any uh, questions or concerns, and this is on YouTube, first I'm gonna ask you, please subscribe. To, for future updates and videos, and then like leave comments in, in the comment section with questions. I'll be glad to to, uh, to answer your questions. And other than that, this is Don Walker signing off.